What about peace, man? We got J-Main and Tay Savage pushing peace. And then meanwhile, you put out a song called No Peace. Clearly not a big fan of the, the new wave. What's your uh, thoughts on that? I'm pushing peace. But I'm not pushing no more peace on the internet. I don't be doing all that shit to get views and followers. I ain't doing all that shit. So you think it's fake? I don't get no how many views I get, how many followers I get. I'm not doing on the internet to get no views or no followers. I'm not, bro. If you want to push peace, bro, we can link up. We can link up and watch them part. Bro, that's how that going to go. What are you going to do? Just, like, talk out a peace agreement? If you want to push peace, bro, we can link up face-to-face -face and watch them part. Ain't no point of talking about pushing peace on the live. Ain't no talking about pushing peace on the internet. I'm not doing none of that shit for no followers, for no views. I don't get no fuck if you don't like my music. Oh, bro, move around, bro. But could you have a conversation at Washington Park and then bring it to the internet and make a vlog announcing peace? You just heard what I'm saying, right? Like, if you want to push peace, bro, meet us in Washington Park. That's it. That's how we come. On fast, bro. We ain't doing all that goofy ass on the internet, bro. That's why I see it, what I see it, bro. Did you see the video of Charleston White where he was giving you advice? He ain't give me no advice. Oh, bro, he didn't. He, he was trying. He was trying to, at least. Did you see it? He wasn't giving me no advice, man. He don't even know me. Oh, bro. What's your thoughts on him just in general? On oh, fast, he a goofy. So you ain't, you ain't rocking with the Charleston White way? He a goofy, bro. Uh, you just said on Fats. Fats is someone that uh, is it was it Fathead or what's his name? Yeah, Fathead. So Melly's that. someone who always used to advocate for Fats. Who was uh, what was Melly and Fats' relationship? That wasn't his brother. They're just close friends or cousin. Yeah, bro, it don't matter if we not blood. We brothers. Nah, for sure. But like, I think Wu and Melly are actual like blood brothers. And then some of y'all are like just like friends, but y'all still brothers. But like Fats, I don't know. I thought maybe Fats was like. In also, my head, we all blood brothers. Mm. Uh, that's how that shit go. Ain't no water between us because if it's water, we ain't gonna stick. We gotta be blood. I'm gang. Was who was Fats? Uh, was he rapping or anything? Or? Nah. Bro, he wasn't rapping or nothing. Going to school, fucking on little hoes, playing basketball. Oh, bro. R.P. Fast. Yeah, R.P. Fast, because he's definitely somebody that I hear y'all talk about all the time. I was hoping Driller came up here, man. We've been trying to get Driller up here. You got to you you bring Driller. Next That's time. My boy. You know it. Oh, bro. Drill Wick. You know it. You going to get him? Yeah, we do it. Drill it. You got to come up here check your DMs. Part, part two. I'm serious, though. Right. You going to get him? Yeah. I mean, you guys want to come back in a few months or something? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, get him. That's my boy. I was just watching him on DJU, though. He wasn't really talking that much, to be totally honest. No, nah, he not no talk with a person. <laughs> well, in an interview, that can kind of be a liability. Yeah, he not. Not just an interview. That's just him. He not no talk with a person. Bro, stay there, so that's just him. You got to get to know him. If y'all meet him, he would have been the same way right now. He would have been sent back on his phone all day. That's all he do. Right. It's not always the best content. You want somebody who's going to kind of tell you shit. So in Chicago, we hear about BDs and GDs all the time, but it's kind of rare because we be hearing that 051 is Mickey Covers. What's the difference between a Mickey Cover, BD? Well, of course, a BD and GD, but like Mickey Cover seems like it don't get that much attention from the Chicago rap scene. It's just like we're always hearing about BDs and GDs. Yeah. BDs, GDs, meat covers. I don't know what to say, bro. I don't know. I don't even know how to answer this question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because just for like, you know, Chicago, everybody talk about the BDs and GDs, so just to see that, you know, you doing your shit, that's just, that's that's a good thing to see. What's the message you have for the youth? For anybody right now that's looking up to you right now, message that you'll tell them? Just stay out the streets, bro. I put a story up saying the message to the youth. Just stay out the streets, man. No 
on, bro. Don't let nobody send you off. Don't let nobody tell you, like, man, go do this. I got you, bro. Make sure you hell yeah, nah, no, but don't do shit, bro, you know? Oh, bro, man, go to school. Focus on work. Fuck these little hoes. Get some money. Like I said, if you ever want or need something, you feel like you need it right now, bro, you're going to get that shit. You don't need that shit right now. You're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? What if they were to say, I'm not taking that advice because you've kind of lived the total opposite? I'm telling them that for a reason, though. You learned this lesson. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter if I stop doing it or if I'm still doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you for a reason. A lot that come with this shit. You feel me? Shit not simple. Shit not easy, bro. Bro. You feel like a lot of the older guys be sending guys off and having them do shit at a young age? I don't know what older niggas be having these shorties doing. And I don't get no fuck. I just got a message to the youth. Just sit down, bro. Just sit the fuck down. You straight, bro. You gonna have everything, nigga. These shorties gonna have more than me if they just sit down and be smooth. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be in the streets. You don't gotta prove nothing to these niggas, no, bro. I seen you said somewhere that you took a pipe case for someone before. You regret doing that, or you was still you would have did it the same way? No, back then, like any, it don't matter. My brother, we gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do it, um, bro. But now, hell no, nah, we grown as hell. That was back then. I was shorty. You know what I'm saying? It's just loyalty that I had towards the game. And still got to us again. Like, this is what it is. This is what it ain't. We are never fold on no aspect. I need everybody to check out nojumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in depth articles about current events, music, etc., plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out nojumber.com. So make sure you tap in.